Hi everyone, welcome to the next video. This is another RetroBat video on how to install a specific system, and in this case it's Wii. So, um, so I've made a few videos on added different systems and actually a yeah, main video on how to install and set up RetroBat, but I've had a request to show how to do Wii specifically. Uh, I think um, some people are having issues. So yeah, uh, let's, let's jump in. Um, so I've got this instance or this installation of RetroBat I've been using to kind of demo stuff. So I've got this here. Uh, under games, I've got a little Wii game here, Mario Kart. It's in the WBF, WBFS format. So it's all it's all contained in that single file. So basically, this is a I guess a it was an image file of the uh, of, of the Wii CD, Wii DVD. Um, so what I'll do. I'll just take that and I'll pop that into the RetroBat ROMs folder. There'll be a, a pre existing Wii folder. Just pop that in there. So, yeah, there I got. I don't think it needs to be in a separate subfolder to be honest. Um, probably just wants to be in the root here. So yeah, let's just let's leave it in the root of the of the Wii folder, uh, and then what we'll do is launch RetroBat. So it's picked the game up. So it's coming to here. Do a quick scrape on the game. Mario Kart. There we go. I know this isn't the, the essential part, but I do like to have the uh, the artwork scraped, even just for the demo. Just it looks uh, looks a lot nicer. So give us a couple of seconds just to download uh, the artwork and the metadata. Oops, found a manual for it as well, which is handy. Right. So now let's go to that menu and. So the emulator here is Dolphin. So let's hit select on here. We don't have it. Do you want to install it? Yes. I'm going to grab the latest version for us and install it into the RetroBat emulators folder. Now Wii, Wii is one of the systems that you don't need. You don't need any bar files for, so that's all good. So yeah, see, it's, it's picked up, picked up the game here, and again, in here is where you can feed controllers, uh, where you know which one it is, etc., etc. So get all that set up first. And graphics. Again, I'm going to change my default thing so I know it works better on my system. Don't want to start on full screen, not for this, not for this demo. Um, I don't really want to change anything else. I think that's all good. So that's all done, so we'll close the emulator now. Now in theory, if it all works first time, we'll just hit select. And there we go. So <laughs> Wii is one of the easy ones set up, like I say, you don't need a mini BAS file. Um, just need to make sure you got the games in the right, right format, right location. So I'll just skip, skip through a couple of the screens, make sure it's working. Mm. Okay, yeah, brilliant, thank you. Come on. So many options. Just want to get to a game quickly.
So it's, it's working pretty well. Obviously, it's just a case of you, know, you want to tweak settings, just going into the emulator and change, you know, resolution, size, that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, working pretty well. So yeah, that that's we nice and easy. Like I say, if you want to go and tweak some settings, come back in here, launch Dolphin from from this menu, and it will just start the. Uh, be emulator for you. Like you, you, you can test the game by double clicking in here and launching it. Uh, similar to how we did with the, uh, the PS3. But like I say, you can then you know, come here, tweak. We've got all these kind of settings. So what we'll probably do is just try and do the controller, just so you can see the controller set up working. Hopefully it picks it up dynamically because I then just plugged it in. We've got standard controller. So I want to fix it on my Xbox One controller there. So button A, button B. So I'm pressing the corresponding button on the Xbox controller. So this is the four buttons. So, you know the Z button. I think I'll probably do sort of. Mm, Maybe the back button. It's start, it's start, it's start. Be bad. Up and down. Left, right. it's working out there and I'm moving it modifier I think it's where you click in and the same over here oh. appreciate this bit is a bit like watching paint dry but and obviously you can't see what I'm doing the controller but I'm just literally clicking through the buttons so then we've got left analog right analog Left bumper, right bumper. Let's see the left and right triggers working nicely. Um, so then, whether we need to save this or not, the prop I don't know, but I will just save that as Xbox save and then hit close. So we should all be good there. So yeah, like I said, that, that's pretty much it. Um, um, yeah, <laughs> you can come in and change settings if, if you want. Change um, if you find it's running a bit choppy or, or whatever. You want to change the uh, uh, the back end graphics. Um, V-Sync. I uh, certainly for mine. I tend to turn off because seems um, to slow down quite a bit. I'm going to do that. Let's just try the controller. Uh, oh, no, not that button. Close that, sorry. I'm going to come out and go to here. Launch the game. Just double check this controller is working. So we'll just exit out of there. So that's that's pretty much it. That's like I say, that's we. Um, very straightforward. Like I say, because you don't need a uh, you don't need a bath file. 
just as long as you've got the uh, some, some valid games and they're in the right format the WBFS format seems to work pretty well um, so yeah that was it short and sweet <laughs> I think again that was probably one of the shortest ones yet uh, but yeah any other questions or queries just you know, give us a shout either in the comments or on the Facebook group or Discord server um, obviously yeah, they're filling up nicely now there's you know, plenty of people joining there so um, you know, if you've got any issues come there and ask a question even if I can't answer it you know, someone else that's, that's, that's a, a member do better help you out so you know lots of friendly people there so yeah um thanks thanks for watching you know obviously like the video if if you liked it hopefully you did please remember to subscribe there's you know so many people that watch that aren't subscribed um so you're yeah, really handy if you subscribe it's completely free and just means you'll get notified you know each time i add a new video so it's worth doing um but until now uh, until then till the next video thanks for watching i'll catch you later